Hey guys, SimColder here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can actually save information for each user that you have authenticated with your project in Firebase. Uh, Firebase doesn't natively support that, so you must do it using the knowledge that we got on our second lesson with database. A better way to understand it is to go directly to the source, go to authentication. And as you can see, the only thing that it's stored here is text is the is the the email, the um, date of creation and this user ID. There's nothing else. If you want to have the name of this uh, user the age or the sex, for example, you can do it just with this. So, to do that, you are going to use this database. The main goal is going to be to have a main child, which is going to be users, and in it, we are going to have a bunch of childs with a certain name and this name is going to be the ID of the user. In this case is this Z W R W C two wherever. So you're going to have that in here and then inside that we are going to have an age, the sex and the age. And that is going to be created for every single user that we make. That way, whenever we want that information of that said user, we simply go to our database and search for the ID of the user that's currently logged in, or the user that we want. So now, let's go into the Android Studio, into the activity login, and in here we are going to add a couple more fields. Let's add them on top. Actually, let's make them free. Okay. Int is going to be the name. And here we're going to have the age. And in here, the sex. Going to your login activity, you can download it from my Google Drive, which I will link down below. And let's have the, the fields that we've created. So name registration. age registration and m sex registration okay that's all set and done let's put the find view by id this okay now we are going to create those fields name age sex let's just change this to hint because it's bothering me okay Okay, so now anytime a user registers, you can save this, inf this information directly to the database using the, the ID that is assigned to said user the, in the moment of creation. So in here, else, so if the registration is uh, completed successfully, 
we are going to first of all get the ID that has been assigned to that user. Just like this, I'm off dot get current user dot get UID. So next let's create another database reference to the um, to the child that we are going to use in order to store the user's uh, information so let's call it cur current um, user okay current user uh, db Okay, and this database reference is going to be Firebase database dot get instance. This will point to. Let's make a quick refresh. It will point to this location, which is basically this domain, this link. Get instance dot get reference dot child users dot child user id what this basically means is what I was explaining a bit earlier which is what we, first of all the firebase database get instance points here get reference points here then we add the dot child users, which is the same thing as going up here and saying this child. And then we add the user ID, which is this user ID. And you can do this anytime, as many times as you want. You can add as many childs forward as you want. So let's, it's basically this. Okay. And if it already exists, it won't mess with it. But if it doesn't, it will create it when you set value. For now, we are going to delete it. So next up, we are going to create a map, an hash map. I prefer creating uh, using maps because it ensures that every every single information that we are trying to save will be saved at the same time so yeah uh, make sure that you understand this so that you don't have a, a lot of problems in the future because I had actually a lot of trouble because of this because the information that I was, I was trying to save wasn't being saved at exactly the same time and so some things were getting in first and others later and that messed up my whole code so be careful with that so in this map hash map you're going to put first the name of the child of the information that you are going to put in and next you are going to put the variable in this case name we're going to create a variable a bit later Okay, now let's change this to age and sex. This is in the only information that we are going to to get from user at the moment of uh, registration. Let's just get those um, variables: name, age, sex. Okay. Now all you have to do is set the value to the database, to the current user database. Set value, new post. And that's it. Let's just run it and see if it all checks out. Okay, here we are. Let's say a name, test2, age, say 20 sex f 
doesn't really matter. An email, let's put test2 at test2.com and password, let's say 123456, just make it easy. Register. Okay, let's go to our database and see if it saved it. Okay, here we are. H20, test2, F, C2, DZ. Let's see if this ID matches the one with this account. And it does, C2, DZ, P. Okay, if you wanna take these values out of the database, um, check my uh, second lesson where I go into detail of about how you can actually accomplish that. It is all for now. Leave a like and subscribe if this was helpful to you. And yeah, ciao.